killer. What is up guys, it is Gamer here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super episode, uh, 70 something, I can't remember off the top of my head, and I can't look at it right now, uh, because my internet's being a little weird today, or tonight, at the time I'm recording this, so I can't really look at what episode it is, but you can clearly t tell what episode we're going to be reviewing on by the title of the video that you're watching just right now, so that's besides the point. We're going to go ahead and just jump straight into this. I don't want to go ahead and uh, and uh, make this last a little longer than what it should normally be. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the beginning of the episode where it basically just... It starts off from the end of the last episode where the uh, the great priest uh, for Zeno is basically explaining uh, when the tournament is going to be held, at what, uh, at what day, what hour, like all that stuff. But before any of that happens, uh, the fu uh, the future Zeno, or Zeno from the future, from the future Trunks' timeline, uh, has never seen a tournament and and wants to and wants to at least tell or or wants to see what uh, like he's going to be expecting when the actual tournament comes around. So right, now, so at the beginning of the next episode, I'm pretty sure because like I said, my internet's being a little weird, so I didn't get to see like the full end of. Uh, t uh, today's episode, but uh, basically we're gonna have an ex exhibition match. It's gonna be uh, a one-on-one -on -one with three people from each universe, and the universes are gonna be uh, Universe Seven, obviously, and Universe Nine. And so we finally get to see uh, a couple of fighters from Universe Nine, and not only that, but we also get to see a couple of God's of Destruction and Supreme Kai's uh, and Angels. Actually, all of them from every single 12 of the universes. And basically what what goes on is that we get to see uh, just the great, we, we, we get to see the great priest basically just explain that if you win, you get the Super Dragon Balls just like the, la just like the last tournament that we saw uh, like two arcs back, but there is a catch if the universe is to lose. If the, if the, if the, if the, ugh, if the universe that was in the fight loses, then their whole universe will actually be completely erased and eradicated and basically the universe will not exist. And so if you win, you get the Super Dragon Balls. But if you lose, your, whole, your entire universe gets erased. So that is the reason why people have been explaining or have been saying that this, uh, this next tournament is the Universal Survival Arc because we're literally fighting for survival or all the universes are literally fighting for survival of their entire universe so that's at stake and then Goku go, goes ahead and goes back to earth and he picks up a couple of fighters and those two fighters uh, he, he goes and talks to Vegeta but just like last episode Vegeta is like no screw off I, I don't I don't want to do anything because you know my wife's about to have a baby and I want to be there for her and shit like that which is which is good job on Vegeta right there round of applause I don't know why I clapped there but I did <laughs> but uh, then uh, Vegeta then says, "Why don't you go ask your son?" And so he's looking to go to him trunks for some reason, like nah, they're too young, whatever, blah blah blah. And then Goku decides to go ask Gohan. And so far, the only people that know that if uh, if the universe loses an actual tournament, not the exhibition match, but just the tournament, uh, it'll be erased. The only people that that do know it. Is, is Kibito, Elder Kai, Supreme Kai, Beerus, Whis, Goku, uh, all of the Supreme, uh, all of the Supreme Kai's and God Destructions for each of the universes. But as it turns to Universe Seven, only Goku and Gohan on Planet Earth are the two people that know it. And Gohan decides to go ahead and join on, join along uh, with the tournament and stuff like that. He'll fight is because he's motivated to protect his family, and we already know Gohan is a family man. And he'll do anything to protect his family. And honestly, that gets me a little bit excited because now we get to see Gohan finally fight again. And then I don't know why I'm expecting something to happen with Gohan. Not like a transformation or anything, but uh, we we could we could see something. I'm not gonna expect it though. If if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. But uh, Gohan decides that he's gonna fight. 
And then convenient plot convenience, you know, uh, Boo shows up and then Goku's like, yeah, we'll get Boo to fight because reasons, plot convenience, yeah, whatever. And so they go ahead, uh, those three decide, uh, not decide, but they go uh, back to the, the planet of the Supreme Kai's and then the Supreme Kai uh, takes uh, everyone that was there uh, over to Zeno's pl- palace. And then it's there where we get to meet all of the gods of destructions and angels and Supreme Kai's of each of the other universes. And we also get to see um, a few fighters of universe, uh, of universe 9. And so far from these three that we've seen from Universe 9, they're like wolf people. They're like werewolves, sort of, but they're not. They're just wolf people. But that's pretty much uh, three fighters that we know of so far from Universe 9. I feel like we're going to see more wolf people from Universe 9. So it's not going to be that much of a surprise that we see more people like that from Universe 9. But you know what? It's not that big of a deal. Because it's just the fact that we get to see all these other fighters from other universes in the first place. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make and make the exact same joke that pretty much everybody has been saying. But why is it that one of the gods of destructions and angels look like the Joker and Harley Quinn from Batman? <laughs> like, like, I saw that and I was like, oh, so it is true. He literally looks like that. I thought that was really funny and comical. Um, but that's that's besides the point. So they go ahead and start the exhibition match, but we actually won't get to see any fighting until um, the next episode. And uh, the, the first fighter is obviously one of the wolf guys. We don't we don't, I don't I don't I don't know any names, but if any of you know any of the names of the fighters that we know of, uh, be sure to uh, leave in the comments and let me know what their names are. But it's one of the one of the wolf guys, and then Boo. And so then the episode, I guess, ends off there, and the actual exhibition match continues in the next episode of episode 79, because now I have my browser pulled up now, because I was finally able to, and we're, we're, we were reviewing on episode 78. <laughs> I just had to point that out really quick, I'm sorry. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video now, because that was, that was pretty much the entire episode, just summing up into around probably a seven or eight minute video, probably a seven, seven and a half minute video. But if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on it, uh, leave a like on it. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. See you later. Peace out.